Nigeria. <laughs> a male Nigerian. What is the most challenging part of being a male Nigerian in China? Just let's be honest and be wrong. You have to help a lot of persons who want to come to China so that before they come, you make up your mind. Uh. Being a Nigerian already, I think it just has to sink in to you that yeah, it has to be a struggle wherever you go. And China, there, if, if in the ranking, China is number one where you face a lot of difficulties. When I say difficulties, like real hard time hello family and welcome back to my channel it's nalo informa and thank you for stopping by i want to say thank you for watching my videos still watching them and also recommending them out to some people right this particular video we'll be doing today in today's particular video we'll be touching a lot of things that has been questions in the mind of people, especially Nigerians who are back home. So this is going to really help you clear a lot of your questions or confusions and help you probably help you make the right decisions, right? If you have plans of coming to China, if you have thoughts of living in China. But what makes today's edition or what makes today's video quite special is that I have two guests really cute and handsome guys honestly and they've been in china over the years i remember i told i was going to also make video with abuka my brother right don't worry you come in down first you have a lot of videos like enough videos coming your screen concerning living in china scholarships in china um the truth about yes living in china the truth about living in china and all of those things but before we go into that and i know you want to see the face of those cute guys wait first before we go into that make sure you hit the subscribe button thank you for subscribing you know ah you don't know what you have done for yourself when you hit the subscribe button click on that notification bell it's going to notify you each time i upload videos and those requesting for me to make some of my family videos be coming down first we have a lot of videos coming your way and always comment comment so that i'll know that you're always in the comment section I i'll know that you are watching this clip you're watching my videos all right so without further ado let's dive into what we have for today all right family welcome back so in today's video like i said and i know you do not wait to couldn't oh, i know you couldn't wait to see this too cute handsome not just handsome very intelligent smart men smart young men students in china i know that apart from studies they probably must have been doing something else i don't know yeah but let's dive into what we have for today so i would like to do the introduction i want to introduce them by myself but i feel it's going to be more you understand it's going to be more classy if they do their introductions by themselves so right um right next to me i have okay my name is kizito was a Nigerian and I study in Zhejiang University of Finance and Economics. So I've been in China for about five years now. Yeah. September 2016. Yes, September 2016. Yeah. You heard it right? What, what, what course are you studying? A business administration. And that's why you're hearing him speak English well. Because if you're studying Chinese language, you will not even <laughs> speak English. You don't know how to speak English again. Okay, let's move on to the next person. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Enyola. I'm Nigerian also. I've been in China since September 2019. I'm running my master's degree in business administration. And I told you that I was bringing people. And I told you that I have guests. <laughs> <laughs> you you should know the class of people. <laughs> no worry, when I make video with Ebuka, Ebuka is going to speak Chinese for all of you because that one has going to forget his own Chinese back, uh, his own English background. <laughs> all right good thank you so much for honoring my invitation i really do appreciate You're and welcome. it's not really easy that. it's not really easy gathering there you know all these people are very busy very very busy you think it's back home when you don't really have anything to do but let me talk let me not talk about it good so in today's particular video we will be talking about scholarships in china because i've had like a lot of persons contact me sending me inboxes some of them even thought i'm a snob i don't talk to them on social media asking me several questions about scholarship in china and I've made a couple of videos in the past regarding trying to address this issue, but I still want you to hear from these people. I want you to hear from um, Kizito and Eniola. They are, you're both not in the same school, right? No, we're Good. In they are in two school. different universities, but in the same province, like Georgian, right? Yeah, yeah same Hanjo. Hanjo. Yeah. Same Hanjo. Right. And why you're seeing black people here is because you're not in my city. You always know that I've been the only person in my city, right? <laughs> It's uh, okay, good. So, I want to ask you what about scholarships in your schools this this season or this session? Um, Kizito, let me start from you. Okay, the scholarships this time, you know, because probably because of the 
whole pandemic thing, the system changed. Okay. Usually people can get scholarships even right from home, applying from home, you get scholarships. But right now, in my school, for instance, a lot of students are back home and the schools, they rent these uh, dormitories, for instance, and they are still paying because they, they still need to keep this uh, apartments for students whenever they come back. The number of scholarships that were given out this time were very, very minimal, you know, compared to previous years. And then also getting a scholarship as a student who's already in the school, mm. it's, uh, let's say it, it used to depend on your academic performance mm. and then also your other activities that the school organizes that you're able to attend and take part in. But then right now, also it's on your, it's based on your academic performance, but the number of people that, that get these scholarships this time are very few. I remember last, before the corona happened, in my class about uh, 10 people had scholarships. But this time, was only four of us that were able to get the scholarship. So it's, the whole thing is totally changed from the way it used to be. Okay, okay. I want to get this clear, right? The scholarship you're talking about is the university scholarship. Yeah, the university scholarship. Because scholarships. you know we have different kind of scholarship. We have the Confucius, the government, the, the provincial, government, yeah. the partial scholarship. That's the one for the university, right? Yeah, partial the scholarship. Okay, so the one you're talking about is the um, university scholarship. You know, like, are you on university scholarship or something? Um, on government scholarship. Government. Thank you, Father. <laughs> he is on university scholarship. He's on government scholarship. And I sister in the Lord. I came here on Confucius and. <clears throat> Official scholarship that was the scholarship that, um, that brought me to China here. Okay, now in their session or rather in the university for this session, because of the whole pandemic thing, a lot of persons went back, like a lot of students went back, and it was it's quite hard getting people back home who will get a scholarship. So even if you get scholarship back home for the Confucius, anyway, that's what I'm talking about, and for the government, even if you get the scholarships back home, especially for those in Nigeria. You are not, they're not sure, we, we don't know, we are not sure, we, we are sure that you're not coming to China this year, March. It's, exactly. not, it's not possible. Even this September, even so September, 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 I'm telling you, even September, we, we are not <laughs> sure, my sisters. <laughs> and you know, let's hear from you, how about your school, what about the scholarships, what are the opportunities students have like in this session? Okay, in my school, for instance, the pandemic, like you said, affected a lot of things. And one thing that happened during the, during the pandemic was the fact that some students had their scholarships withdrawn. Mm. Some reasons were um, bad academic performances, and then also the school was broke. <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people are not coming in. They are not giving admissions to people outside China, China. for now. So the number of students they have coming in international students they have coming in is minimal and most of them are people that have been in china and say maybe they just want to do their master's degree or they want to study chinese language so that led to some people losing their scholarships and then some people also had to change their universities based on that wow. so but the scholarship i'm on which is a government scholarship we're the last set of students to come into my school on that scholarship since then we've not had any new students coming to 219 right yes yeah because we also came the same year 219 yeah. and since ah thank god i came <laughs> ah because if i said let me let me leave you to 2020 yeah. it would have been a different my story father, i know someone that applied last year so yeah. now he hasn't heard anything oh oh, oh. that's that's really sad yeah. that's really sad Honestly, and then you know, maybe for us here, following the classes online is easy for us, it's but easy. for those back home, it's it's a that's struggle. A, that's another reason why they're not yeah. even giving the whole, the whole thing, admissions yeah. and scholarships for now. Good, that is leading us to another thing about online classes. We had 
2020, all through 2020, it was an online class that I had in my school because in my own particular school, I'm the only African, wow. the only black color you see walking oh, around. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Yes, and go, <laughs> yes, go <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. At least that is the only part of it. Okay, I enjoy being a celebrity because you're the only one. But in school, you have a lot of blacks. They don't even take you as anything. True or true? True, true. true. It's true. true. Okay, so let's move on to this particular one. How did you see online class? Because what I'm seeing is that this coming semester is going to be online class. And <laughs> my father, I am not ready. <laughs> How, what, what's your take on online, concerning online classes? <laughs> Online classes, I know, to be very honest. Be very honest. <laughs> to be very honest, you know. You know, these online classes, I think, is making people lazy. Like me. <clears throat> yeah. So, it got to, like, uh, let me use myself as an example. Okay. Usually, you have classes at 8.05, you wake up very early, maybe at 7 or 6 something. You take a shower and you go to classes. But now you have online classes. 805. Me, I just wake up at 805. Is the class on? Okay, yes. Put it on and then I go back to bed. I did this for the whole semester and then I found at the end of the day when assignments are given or maybe the, when the midterm exams came, you find out that literally, yo, I don't know nothing, you know? And exams are, uh, midterm exams are by the corner. You have to now go back and start watching those videos again those that's classes that's when the, the nigerian spirit in you because if you studied in nigeria we don't study we don't we know they read when semester begins nah. now when test on the reach quiz and exam that's when you see there's an going. exam tomorrow let me just go <laughs> but coming to china to will make you study because that's when the physical classes yeah the physical because classes, you know yeah. you're here for something your academic um, performance is really is, is expected of your high yeah, academic your attendance assignments because they give assignments like crazy and you study my dear my students every day <laughs> honestly so you have you will you will you will have to reorient your mind when you come to china to study so for us to or for him rather to be able to steal skills because i believe you passed exams yeah we <laughs> <been every morning. laughs> <I> <laughs> So for him to probably scale him would be because of that Niger spirit of <laughs> studying you close to exam period yeah. because you know Niger never do. Nah, mm -mm. Oh, we know they do. As how it comes to exam period. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Too. So, um, in your life, how about you? What's your take concerning online classes? Online classes to me is cruise, <laughs> <laughs> pure cruise, <laughs> because my own online classes. Some some lecturers would say, okay, turn on your video. Sometimes I just say, Lao Shi, my camera is bad. And then I mute my microphone. If I'm not sleeping, I'm watching movies. If I'm not watching movies, I'm cooking. And then video is just dead. Lecturer is just there saying what he has to say. Sometimes you even find me texting my classmates. What's he saying? <laughs> and you're still following the I'm, class. You know? I'm right there. <laughs> There was a day I was in, I had this lecture. I was really tired that day. I just laid down on the bed. My laptop was beside me. I'm like, okay, yes, I'm listening. And then the next thing, I was gone. I slept off. And when I woke up, I had to text my classmates. Was there any assignment? <laughs> and then at some point, they said the lecturer was even calling your name. I'm like, okay. But, but all in all, I think that was. Best result I had since I came to China. Mm. Like the lockdown results were just the best. Mm, mm, mm. Well. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. That's that's pretty. Um, that's good because I think I can relate. I can relate. When we first, my first semester, when the the whole online thing started, I it was hard. Right from time, I don't really like taking online courses, but even if I want to take online courses, it might maybe be one week thing. You know that this yeah. course is just, you, you are trying to develop yourself in this aspect, yeah. it's just for one week. But having a whole semester, a whole semester, and you, you attend class every single day online, it was really exhausting. It was, but you know, so I had to, we all had to make up our minds because we will always represent and make the right results because you still have to retain your scholarship yeah, exactly. and still stay back, right? And yeah. also make your country proud. 
in middle of countries. And also make your parents proud, right? You have to study and do well. Thank you so much for this particular section. So we will not be talking so much regarding scholarship, but what I wanted to do is do all to follow them on their various Instagram handles. I'm going to link it in the, in the description box below. And I also want to drop it somewhere here, yeah, on the screen so that you follow them. And if you have any questions to ask them concerning scholarships in their various schools, or you have any other questions to ask them, you can do that, right? At least I'll give you an opportunity. And hey, all the sisters, take it easy on them, okay? Just take it easy on them. Don't go there and start this on them. Just, 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 just be good, you understand? Ask the scholarship questions and leave that chat. It gets why okay <laughs> <laughs> all right good so we will go on to the next thing we have for today like in this particular video we will talk we will touch into some other things because i'm going to like get pissed off at a point